All right. So today begins the walk of non-attachment. All right, this is my first time using this camera here. I just realized I was looking up there. But I'm looking at you out there. There is indeed a camera in between us. But to the best of my ability, on this walk, I'm gonna speak to you. You? You! You, I'm gonna speak to you as if you were here. And I am going to speak from my mind. Nobody else's mind, just my mind. I'm going to experiment with non-attachment. I may as well share what I mean by non-attachment so that it's, you know, got some clarity because different people have different, you know, meanings behind non-attachment. But to me, non-attachment means letting go of attachment to any outcome of any sort. Just what it is, it is. And so it is. So I guess I would say I'd be putting a lot of practice into, well, non-attachment. And it is, and so it is, whatever it is. Being grateful for everything, for just what it is, observing things just as they are, and overcoming all mental aspects that no longer serve me. So anything in my mind that's no longer serving me, I am going to let go of, let go of. Let go of, that's what I'm doing, I'm letting go. So basically with each step on the walk of non-attachment, I am shedding what no longer serves me, both physically and mentally. I'm leaving the past in the past and I'm walking into the future, the now. The now and the future. And basically, I have about four months of walking right now. I have, I've done 200 and I have about 1,500 miles to go. And I'm just kind of figuring out now what it is exactly I'm going to be doing and I'm somewhat sharing this, well I'm sharing this out loud for the first time basically. And you're here just with me. You're just here with me. And Brent. <laughs> what are you eating Brent? Peanut butter. Brent's got some peanut butter, he's snacking, we're fu fueling up. So I guess you'll see that as well, like just the reality of the moment. But there's gonna be two things. There's gonna be just the reality of this moment. You could call it an adventure. You're coming along on the adventure with me. And you're also gonna enter my mind, if you'd like to. Only if you'd like to. You can do whatever you want, of course. But my objective is for you to get to enter my mind. So to tell you the end point of where I'm trying to get in four months, and the deep level of practice I have to do when I get there, to get there. In four months, when I get to Los Angeles, I am going to have released every single thing in my mind that I haven't wanted people to know. Another way of saying that is I will have genuinely no secrets at all with anyone, the world. Which is another way of saying that is my mind will become Creative Commons. Whether it will stay Creative Commons, I don't know yet. The experiment is, can I get my mind to be Creative Commons, basically. Where anything that's in my mind is accessible. Of course, I can't say it all. There's millions of pieces of information to process, data to process. But the big things, like no secrets, nothing to hide whatsoever. All the things that I've hidden. And some people would be like, oh, he's hiding something. We all are. Every one of us is hiding something. Whether it's ourselves, whether it's, yeah, truths about ourselves. Insecurities, discomforts, but also things we've done. 
that we look back on and we do not feel that it met our need for integrity and truth and compassion and things that we want to let go of. And I'm going to be letting go of all those things. So by the time I get to Los Angeles, I'm going to have emptied my mind of everything that I've been hiding. And I'm going to see what happens to a mind that has nothing to hide. And to be well, honest, this is a thing that's a little bit hard to say out loud. But my goal is to be a public servant. I want to be of service to the people. I want to ultimately dedicate my life to being of service, but I'm not even close to there. <laughs> you have to do a lot of practice to get to that point, based on what I've seen from every, from the people that I've seen that have dedicated their life of service, it takes a lot of work. So I'm interested to see when I embark on experiments like this to see what's going to happen. So that's the mental, the non-attachment non-attachment to what people think about me. I'm gonna release the things that I've not shared because I was worried what people would think. And I'm gonna share those things and because I'm not going to be attached to what people think anymore. I'm just gonna be, a, I'm just gonna be me, you know? I'm gonna live in the highest integrity and truth that I can and be me. That's like my top goal in life is to be me and to invite you on this journey with me to be me and for those of you who find it meaningful, like, if you don't, it doesn't matter. But if you're here and, it, and, it, and it's meaningful, then that's, you know, I invite you to be here. This would be an example of just a little bit of the day. The day. I'm 180 miles into the journey. No, 207 as of this morning, so probably 214 miles now. I'm coming up on Brent. What's the name of this town? Shots up? Brady. 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 <laughs> we're coming in on Brady and we're going to Montesano. And today I'm trying to make it 20 miles. So I'm going to bring you in on that, you know, elements of the adventure as well. Here's what I see. A lot. And yes, sometimes I am too far out and I correct myself. You may have noticed that. You may have made a judgment. You may have even said, oh, what an a-hole for being so far out in the road. Well. That's where I invite you to join me of dropping all judgments and blames and seeing that every single one of us is doing the best we know how to do in every given moment. That's, what, that's the way I'm operating. Non-attachment to outcome. And then lastly, what I'll say is the physical is that I'm gonna be shedding my physical possessions as I go, nothing I no longer need in this moment. Why? Because this moment is short. Why is this moment short? Because when I get to Los Angeles, which is only four months away, walking, I still, you know, that still says something to me. I've never walked like this before. A hundred miles ago, I had achieved the longest walk that I'd ever done. It was 108 miles and now we're doing 1700. So it's like, whoa, an adventure for sure. But the big adventure is when I get there, I'm gonna give away every single physical possession that I own all of my natural fiber clothing, this sweet hat I had made for me, these shoes that I made. You know, so much stuff that I love. I'm gonna get rid of every single one. I've already gotten rid of all my IDs. I have no, I don't own anything. I, the, everything I own is right here. Right here with me, actually. And, when I get to Los Angeles, I'm going to get rid of every single thing, uh, including my pants, and you'll have to, you know, I'm not going to tell you how I'm going to do this right now yet, but I have ideas, and you're just going to have to wait and see. Or find one of the people that I've met along this journey who I've already shared this idea with, and they might know. And, little store. You're gonna be introduced to them in those little stores. I'm gonna cross here. You walk on the opposite side of the cars when you're walking. Bike on the other. Bike with, walk against. So, I'll get rid of literally everything I own and I will have 
no ownership of anything physical. And there's more details to share about how, how the depth I'm gonna go into this experiment, but that's what I'm walking towards. So right now I'm slowing down, I'm simplifying, I'm shedding, I'm letting go. And I'm gonna practice that for the next four months. And when I, let, when I get there, I'm gonna already have let go of everything in my mind and I'm gonna let go of every single physical possession that I own. I'm slowing down. I just realized that was kind of a chaotic moment back there. And so I'm slowing down a little bit here. And then when I'm there, I'm just gonna see what happens. I'm gonna see what happens to my life if I live in a state of complete non-ownership of both the physical and mental aspect of my existence. And some people might think this sounds a little bit like, I don't know, far-fetched or ridiculous or crazy. You know, some people might be like, come on, this guy's just crazy. Well, it's up to you to decide. Whatever you want, you get out of life. If you want to think I'm crazy, think, you're, think I'm crazy. If you want to think that I am actually working to become a, as you would say, a master of your own mind. <laughs> How radical is that in this society? Well, the corporations, the, the government, the last thing they want for us is to be the master of our own mind and that's all I'm talking about. Becoming a master of my own mind. That's another way to put it. There's so many ways to put it and I've put it in multiple ways so maybe it hits you in different ways, you receive it in different ways. Um, but that's what I'm doing. And I wasn't planning on filming this video. It was just spur of the moment. I just got this camera. This is the first video I'm actually doing with it. This was never my plan. I had other ideas for videos, but this is it. This starts it off and we're just gonna see what happens. Uh, I'm letting go a lot of the control of the filming being a certain way. I've never done this. If any of you have been following me for the last 10 years know that I haven't done this before. So I'm doing it. And I invite you all to be here with me. Remember, I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to the screen, although yes, physically, I am talking to this screen and I'm holding this device. But, you're a real person, and I'm a real person, and we are communicating together in this way that humans never communicated with before until very recently in the humanity, in our hundreds of thousands of years of development. And I'd rather be with you in person. I'd rather be with all of you in person. And I'll be with many of you in person, because you can come join me all along this walk down the coast through Oregon and, Wa Oregon and California. Anybody can come and join in person. So you don't have to see me through the internet. We can be here together. So with that, I may as well tell you that if you, if you do have interest in following this, I, the website is just my name, robingreenfield.org slash walk. And there's a there's all sorts of information on there and how you can get involved too. Like, if you want me to walk through your town and host a little talk at the park outside the library, get together, we can do that. And you can join for a day, a week, a month, and uh, you can learn whatever it is that you want to learn by coming. And you'll be the decider of that, what that is. So, all right, I love you all very much. I hope this message received you well. For those of you who have been with me in this path for a while, I do hope this message receives you well. I do hope that you see that although my course is changing a little bit like I was more talking about sustainability and growing food and foraging I'm still going to 
I'm gonna be living all those things. But I'm also talking about something I wasn't talking about before. So I know to some of you this might seem abrupt and you might just think he's gone crazy. I know it, there's already people who have said that. But let's just hear this one saying that is often said. It's not my saying, but other people say it. And something along the lines of, I don't want to be normal in a society that's sick. So if people think I'm crazy, that's probably a beneficial thing. It means I'm pushing the actual limits. And that's what I'm about to do. So I know this has been a long, long session. I hope that this wasn't considered a ramble by any of you. I went with it. And I just want to say if you're out there, I'm here with you. If you're out there, you're here with me. I love you very much. And, well, I'll see you again soon if you come back. <laughs>